Iranian regime to execute wrestling champion for peaceful protest. Hashtag save Navid. Um, the Islamic Republic of Iran's Supreme Court confirmed the death sentence of national wrestling champion Navid uh, Afkari for his 2018 protest against the regime in Tehran. Uh, Iran's clerical regime imposed two death, two death sentence, sentences, six years and six months in prison, seven and 74 lashes on Akfari, and similar charges on his two brothers. Reportedly, uh, Navid and his brother uh, Vahid uh, Afkari were severely tortured to give confessions, and the testimony of witnesses about their beatings and tortures are even referenced in the case, but the court has ignored it. Um, Iran's judiciary charged the brothers with 20 crimes, including, quote, attending illegal gatherings, assembling, and conspiracy to commit crimes against national security, and insulting the supreme leader, end quote. Okay, so we have a clip to show about this, right? Um, um, but we got a five, uh, seven, dollar can seven Canadian dollar super chat from Tinderoma saying, please carry on the beef with the Hindus. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for the seven dollar super chat. Tinderoma is being way too generous in the, every, in every live stream. Like, you, you're gonna go. Bankrupt, like okay, thank you so much to Naroma, but it's okay if you don't, you know. But I appreciate the generosity, very quick, very kind. Anyways, um, something about this news, um, this is going on for like these executions that are happening in Iran. Um, it's been going on for a while. Like I think like Iran ha had a lot of arrests after the protests, and they just kept them there, and they were just waiting for the news to divert its attention to some other places because they knew that when they did all the arrests, it would get too much international pressures if they were executing them. So they just waited and waited, and then the the whole Rona thing, the beer bug came. And now, you know, people are pay paid attention to that. And now the U.S. elections and now a whole bunch of other stuff. So they're like, you know, now we could carry out because they wanted to make sure that they send a message to the people that, you know what, these protests are going to have consequences, right? Like they want people to be afraid for the, you know, next time they go out and have protests. And they are very, they're doing it. They have, they are very smart about it. They're doing it in a way that gets minimal international attention, but gets enough attention from the people in Iran um for them to like do the you know to to put them in place and be scared make them scared you know to see that the country kind of, like just because you know like basically they're like look the the message to iranian people is like you know when you get your original attention and you get the whole world looking at us and you think now you're safe now that the now the government being held accountable, just know that we could wait that out. Mm -hmm. The next time you decide, the next time that Iranian people want to do a protest, you know, like you, the government, we're patient. We're just going to hold you. And once the world looks the other way, the the pushback will come, and you guys will suffer. Just remember that next time you want to do a protest, this is the government's message. Okay, and it works. It works. It works. I mean, the, this is not getting much attention internationally. Okay. Um, well, I was going to say something too. Like, so this guy has double death sentence plus lashes. And then we had the guy who beheaded his daughter mm. got nine years prison. Right. And probably goes out for early release as well. Right. So right. this guy, this guy is getting a death sentence for protesting double peacefully death. against the, <laughs> yeah, for peacefully protesting against the government. But the guy in Iran that did an honor killing and behead his own daughter, very good point, Rivka, he only is getting nine years in prison and he would he, and he's getting less because it was a girl and not a boy. Mm -hmm. So you can see the priorities. Um well, oh well, Cinderella is saying, yeah, thank you so much, Cinderella. Thank you. <laughs> uh, but anyways, what's this what is this clip that I'm showing? What is this? So this is a video of UFC president Dana White giving his support for um, the prevention of these executions. So, so for those who don't know, UFC is the largest mixed martial arts um, uh, promotion company in the world to the point that people think UFC is the name of the sport. Um, Dana White is a billionaire. He has a huge influence, huge influence in the um, sports world. And I thought this video is interesting because um, you were talking about it doesn't get a lot of attention. This brought a lot of attention. Oh, uh, we got a new so member. Much. 
Yeah, more. I like the <laughs> look. I like the username and the logo. Mort Mortad skeptic, and he has a happy su su bomb. I don't know what to say it, but like he has like a mullah guy. But I think he has like a vest. Bob as well. the builder. It's Bob the yeah. builder as a mullah. <laughs> He's got a little. Oh, is that Bob? He has a little. I still. Yeah, he has a little, little vest. Yeah. He has a little Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah thank you thank you so much mortad skeptic that's very kind thank you for joining us as a member anyways let's play this but yeah i'm so grateful because again iran is iran iran's government not iran iran's government the islamic republic is banking on the the lack of international attention and this is really helpful he has a play. huge audience look at almost one million views almost one million views. yeah maybe you guys should like go yeah hey everybody i'm ufc president dana white and this week, the New York Times wrote a story. Wait, let me actually go from the beginning. Increase volume. Let's try again. Hey, everybody. I'm UFC President Dana White. And this week, the New York Times wrote a story about a very famous wrestler from Iran. His name is Navid Afkayari. And he went to a peaceful protest in Iran. And he's... Uh, so he's then gonna... you ruined it. Let me do it from the beginning. Mute Sorry. yourself. No, I mute it. I ran. No, no, no. It's fine. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it from the beginning, guys. Meet yourself, please. This is important. I want to get this right. Hey, everybody. I'm UFC President Dana White, and this week the New York Times wrote a story about a very famous wrestler from Iran. His name is Navid Afkayari, and he went to a peaceful protest in Iran, and he's. Uh, He's going to be executed for that. So it was brought to my attention. And I, you know, this guy is, first of all, he's a human being, number one. Number two, he's one of us, could be any of my fighters. And the only thing I thought to do was to call the president and, and, and see if he could help this man. And he said, let us look into it. Let me talk to my administration and, and see if there's something we can do to save his life. So today, the president tweeted the tweet that's attached to this video. And I would just like to say that I, too, respectfully and humbly ask the government officials in Iran to please not execute this man and spare his life. All right. So for, um, you know, I'm, I myself, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, yeah, no, let's not uh, give any excuses for Trump or anything like that, because Trump, he got Trump to tweet about it. And, you know, you guys might be like, oh, screw Trump and stuff like that. And, yeah, I'll join you with that as well. Mm -hmm. And I know uh, Ethan. I know Ethan is going to Ethan is a member here. He's a Trump supporter and he loves it. And that's fine. But again, even if I don't care, it doesn't matter if you're a Trump supporter or not. That is that we, that is valuable. OK, mm -hmm. that is valuable because we need that story needs to get attention. Uh, and Trump's platform is huge. It's huge. And any avenue, any method for getting more light on that story, like whether you're a Trump supporter or not, is is helpful. OK, it doesn't matter if you, you, you're not a Trump supporter or you're anti-Trump. So uh you know, whatever tools we could use to bring attention to this. Yeah, we should use. In fact, actually, let me. Yeah. OK. What do you think, Susanna? Um, I totally agree with you. I don't think anyone who is up for execution by any authoritarian regime um, could care about some petty American politics about who is speaking up for them. Right. I know right. I wouldn't. Um, yeah. So I appreciate any effort to stop the executions in Iran. They execute, they're the second largest state executioners in the world. And um, I can't remember how many people they've already executed this year, but I believe it is over 400 people. And that was a couple of weeks ago. Um, it, and I'm fully against the death penalty under any circumstances. So I abhor, I, I abhor it. Um, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going as far as I'm, I'm going to say, like, thank you, Trump. Okay, yeah, as somebody that is makes constantly content against Trump, and I, I'm not a fan of them at all. In fact, I'm, I'm very much against them. 
for this, I will say thank you so much. Uh, we really need it. You know, we really need that attention. I do also want to say binary uh, binary skeptic is saying, I hope one day majority of Iranians realize they're all pretending to be Muslim in accordance with the recent survey, and suddenly we have a secular nation. Yeah, so you know about the uh, recent survey. Yeah. Rifka, did you want to mention something? No, I uh, just wanted uh, to agree with you about the thing about Trump. You know, people want to hate everything he does because he does it as Trump. And if he is, if him bringing attention to this person's uh, um, uh, potential execution and the human rights violation of wanting to execute somebody for simply protesting, if that helps in any way put any pressure on that regime, fine. Just because yeah. you don't agree with Trump about other things doesn't mean that you should be upset that he did something that could help another human being. So I w I'm going to say thanks, too, you know. Yeah. It was, he also Thank you, Dana White. Other, yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. So, And I'm sure that, it, you know, I, if it works, it will be a good thing. I would go as go as far as like as much as I would prefer Biden to win over Trump. If if Biden wins and he doesn't call us stuff like this out when he when he's president, if he's president, I would call I would be I would come out and say also by the way, if Trump was here, he would have called it out, right? Again, it's important to be able to say that if you to con to thank and appreciate uh, the right action, even if it's by somebody disagree it. We got a five Australian super chat from Sal John is saying Trump is great. Face it. I will not face it, but I appreciate I will not face it. I, I will say he did a great thing. Okay. Can, can you take that? Is that okay? This is what I, this is what I will face. I will say that he did a great thing. He's not great, but that's okay. Thank you so much for the five Australian super chat. Um, here's a Creed, uh, cre cred credible is saying, I agree, Susanna, Trump has done the right thing regardless of who you support in politics. Yes, he did the right thing, and we should thank him. It's, it, we should go beyond, like, oh, fine. I think we should go beyond just saying, like, fine, I guess uh, this is u useful. We could use him for it. No, I think we should also appreciate it and be like, uh, you know, yeah. So Ethan is saying, uh, what is this? Impromptu Trump rally. We Trump rally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, oh, no. Wow. We just got a twenty dollar on twenty Australian dollar super chat from Saul, even what? though we even just though we with shit on Trump. Well, thank you. This <laughs> yeah. show, we didn't not shit quiet. on Trump. We said mm. that we didn't agree with his politics, but we thought that what he did was the a good yeah. thing, and we appreciated it. We I meant we do we do yeah, well. we do. We do shit on Trump, but not to, we're not doing that today. But we right. generally do shit on Trump. Yes. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, yes. yes. I thought yeah. you were talking about <laughs> in this moment. In this moment. In this moment, we're taking a break from shitting on Trump and saying thank you, Trump, for the change. Okay, for the change. <laughs> and <laughs> twenty thank Australian you, dollars. Thank you, Sal. Really, uh, very grateful. Uh, it's yeah. Uh, Ronald saying, let's not be uh, premature. He only posted a tweet. All he care about is profit. Hey, man, a tweet is better than not posting. A tweet with a best platform is better than not a tweet, okay? I'll take, I mean, right now, I'll take a tweet, okay? A tweet from the president of the United States means a lot, okay? So, if and it's also, if if we don't thank this, if we don't, if we don't, if, if we're such, like, so ideological, like, so, like, that we don't even thank the people when they do the right thing just because we don't like them or just because we think that we, we're like, oh, we, our intentions are not good, then we're not going to encourage, we're not going to encourage the right behavior. We're not going to, like, there's no motive for politicians to do the right thing if we don't, like, play it strategically. What the hell, Sal? This is another 20 Australian dollars. Jesus. Um, as, as long as you stick to the truth, you are my friends. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much. You're being too generous, though. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, just right back at you. Okay, yes, cool. Trump. Okay, AJ is saying Trump's love getting uh, pissed on by Russian strippers. Wait, so, and I would also hey, like hey, to... what? Go oh, on. one, you're gonna say don't kink shame. 
Don't kink shame hey. me. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. You know exactly. Like, what's wrong with that? What what's saying. wrong with that? That is like from all. Okay. If this is true, from all the things that I disagree with Trump, this is not, not only do I have not, you know, you do you. Okay. What the hell? Like, what's wrong with that, AJ? Are you kink shaming people, AJ? Are you kink shaming people? All right. But well, go ahead. I would also like to acknowledge that AJ has changed her um, icon to sexy Kali. Her oh, avatar okay. is now sexy. <laughs> I know. I noticed that right away. Oh wait, you did? I didn't notice. Yeah, I noticed it right away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what's so funny? You say don't kink shame, but I personally don't want to hear about anybody else's kink. So keep it to y'all self. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Ronald, let's thing. move on. <laughs> wait. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Let's move on. Um, I'm just going to highlight some of the com comments. Well, this <laughs> <one>. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. News. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 